January, what are we, 13th meeting of the uh, State Government Elections Committee will come to order. I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. On Wednesday, January 13th, the Senate's Government and Elections Committee heard testimony on Senate Bill 5002, addressing State Auditor Pat McCarthy's duties and procedures. This bill is really pretty simple. Uh, first, we will strengthen the fraud and loss reporting statute uh, to ensure prompt and fair reporting standards. Um, second, we will save a little bit of money for state and local governments by reducing some redundant reports that are now readily available on the internet. And third, uh, we repeal several outdated sections of the law that were overridden by Initiative 900. In the Senate Committee on Environment, Energy, and Technology, lawmakers held a public hearing on Senate Bill 5000, creating a tax exemption for electric vehicles. So can you, if you're knowledgeable on that, can you tell me, uh, you know, the difference between I got, I got a battery vehicle and I got a hydrogen vehicle. What's the environmental impact on an environmental uh, uh, hydrogen vehicle? The, the real difference is sort of the, the battery size. So for a battery electric vehicle, you have a very large battery. You know, in a, like a Chevy Bolt, maybe it's 60 kilowatt hours. You go up to a, you know, top end Tesla, it's 100 kilowatt hours. You go to the new Hummer that uh, GM unveiled, it's 200 kilowatt hours. By comparison, a fuel cell electric vehicle uses a battery closer in size to a hybrid vehicle. So uh, it'd be like our newest Mirai is 1.2 kilowatt hour. So, you know, one one hundredth of the battery in like a top end Tesla. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News covering the 2021 legislative session.